Hello, Craig here again. It is the 7th of January, 2025, and I'm looking at my uh, backup solar power system. I've got six um, sealed lead acid batteries in series. They're about two years old, but they're still working. These two batteries here, that says Duracell, they're AGM batteries, and I'm trying to see if they can be brought back to life. A few days ago, I came out here and the so discovered that the solar power line was disconnected from the solar charger. So I reconnected it, turned the battery on, I turned the battery on first, reconnected it, and it would not charge. Uh, it was down to less than 9 volts. I forget the exact voltage. So I decided to see if they could be brought back to life. I'm not sure if these pulse battery repairs, right there, battery repairs, uh, can work on AGMs. Seems to me somewhere in the background, I remember uh, they don't. But, but the hey, dead batteries don't don't do anything. So I figured no harm. So I've got two in ser in parallel. I'm sorry, I said I think it's I said series. I know those are parallel. Anyway. Um, so I hooked them up to this power pulse battery, battery repairer and I hooked them up to a 2 amp battery charger and initially that initially they would not take a charge but over a few days they have started to charge I disconnected the battery charger from the wall yesterday and ignore the mess of wires I never did finish putting this system in properly the spaghettios you see nice mess here this line right here that's a 2000 watt uh, Sam Lex inverter and it works pretty good uh, no issues with it and that's this is my first inverter 600 watt Sam Lex and I've had it a lot longer and no issues there over here this is going to the Duracell batteries I don't know if you can see that let's see here there you can see some of it now it's uh, charging slowly it says 13.5 volts from the solar chargers but I'm not sure how much that is lack of sunlight on the panels and how much is this is just drying it down doesn't seem like it's drying down too much it's only 0.8 amps this one up here is the uh, six lead acid and its panels at 43.6 volts so no that's not where I'm at let's try this again there we are 14.6 and 0.5 amps now That's 0.9 amps at 12.6.
So anyway, we'll let this charge from solar and see what happens. I did have another set of lead acid in here, but they gave up the ghost. And this, oops, let me de-zoom here. Maybe. There we go. This um, right here, solar charger is disconnected. It was connected to those batteries, but they gave up the ghost and I got rid of them. I got my work cut out for me. I think it's about time I got off my uh, tail end and did something with all these. I've got some LiPo 4 batteries that uh, I need to put in here. I think I overbought the batteries because uh, I've only got oh a thousand watts or so coming in here and my panels are sh shaded a good part of the day either by the wall black walls or the house so anyway it's something something to play with that's about all for now i got like I said, one spaghetti mess here. At any rate, we'll talk to you later. You take care. Bye for now.